Hey guys, welcome to the 2022 Minecraft Readathon announcement video. Super excited to be announcing it this year. Um, I'm sorry if this video is a little bit later than um, I said it would be on the Twitter. I was, I actually filmed this before, but I was having like camera trouble. Um, it was super shaky because of the setup that I had, but I think this is a way better setup. Uh, I don't see any shake, so that's way better. So hopefully I'll have this edited and uploaded it in a few days from now. The Minecraft Readathon will be taking place throughout the month of May. So May 1st in your time zone at midnight, and then it ends at 11.59 or after 11.59 in your time zone as well on May 31st. So we'll get into the prompts and there's a few surprises and stuff a little later on that I'll tell you guys about that are going to be super exciting for this year's readathon. So this year I'm introducing levels to the readathon and overall there will be probably three levels um, but this year everybody is going to start at level one so that's the only level that I'm releasing and level one is themed to be the overworld. So each prompt kind of relates to stuff that you would be doing in the overworld of Minecraft before you go to the nether, before you go to the end, anything, like, everything like that. And each prompt is kind of based on an achievement, which is either an actual achievement in the game or just like something that I feel is a personal milestone when you're playing the game. So we have eight prompts here and I will read through them. So number one is spawn and to do that you have to read a book that you've never read before, which is obviously a pretty simple one. Most or most if not all people can do that very easily. Number two is build your first shelter and to do that you have to read a book that takes place partially outside. So this again is very flexible, very easy. Um, most books have like a scene or two outside probably. So again, most books would fulfill this prompt. Pretty easy, pretty flexible. Number three is to find a companion and to do that you have to read a book that a friend of yours has read or recommended and this could be any type of recommendation from anybody like someone on the internet maybe or you know you could go for a friend recommendation or just a book that you know a friend has read and enjoyed and you think that you might enjoy it or same thing you know a person on the internet a book that they have shared that they've read totally go for it so again very flexible prompts here. <laughs> I think that that will kind of change when we get to the other levels. I think that I'm gonna make it a little bit harder. So I think that's where the progression will be. Number four is to build a farm and to do that you have to read a nonfiction book and any type of nonfiction counts. You have memoirs, not um, informational nonfiction, you have biographies, you have self-help books even, things like that, essays. Uh, pretty much anything like that. If you think it counts, it counts. Number five is a, find a village and to do that you have to read a book that contains an adventure. So any type of adventure, it's pretty subjective I think. There are a lot of ways to go about it, a lot of directions to take it, so I think that'll be a fun one. Number six is go fishing and to do that you have to read a book with water on the cover, which is a little more difficult but again not too bad. It's pretty straightforward, I don't, there's not much explaining to do, just water on the cover. Number seven is to mine coal, and that is to read a book with the word fire or flame in the title or the series title, which can be a little hard. So what I'm going to do, I think this year, is maybe post some recommendations on the Twitter account and maybe even the in the Discord channel. Everything is linked in the description. I'll try to pull recommendations from like all age groups, all genres, stuff like that. Number eight, the final book prompt is to craft an iron pickaxe and to do that you have to read a book that's part of a trilogy. Lots of trilogies out there. I'm sure you could find one that's interesting or even maybe if you're already reading a trilogy and you want to finish it up, continue, whatever. I always encourage finishing a series. I'm always trying to do that myself so I don't have a bunch of books piling onto my TBR. So that's definitely a way to go for that prompt. And so that is all the book prompts, but that is not all of the prompts because in this readathon this year, you will have the option to complete non-book prompts or real world prompts in order to replace a book prompt. So that way you don't have to read eight books to uh, complete or like win the readathon this year. So the minimum you'll have to read is two books because there are six uh, non-book prompts and one non-book prompt can replace one book prompt. 
So if you if you complete all six real world prompts, you only have to read two. You could totally read more if you want to, because um, some of these things like you might do anyway, like they're not super hard. So if of course if you want to read more than your minimum, you totally can. If you want to read up to eight, totally can. It's fine with me. So the first non book prompt is Plains Biome, and to do that you have to read any book in April, which again is pretty easy. Um, I'm assuming that most people who are uh, participating in the readathon are pretty avid readers, so it's not super hard to have read one book in April, and that's any book. Like, even like a children's book counts. I don't, I'm not gonna police your reading picks, um, but that's, this is kind of the only prompt that will be outside of the month of May. Maybe you want to plan ahead. If you haven't read any books this month, maybe now you will, like, you know, read one book at the end of the month if that's a prompt you want to complete. Number two is sheep, and that's to either do a load of laundry or put away your laundry or fold your laundry, anything like that. I wanted it to be accessible to everybody. Number three is oak wood, and to do that you have to wear stripes. So just stripes anywhere in your outfit. It's pretty straightforward. For the mesa biome, which is the fourth prompt, you have to match your outfit to a book. And I've always loved this prompt. Basically, you just pick a book and you either base your outfit on maybe the colors of the cover or maybe a character in the book. You can dress like them. It's pretty, you know, you can interpret it how you want. But I think that it's always fun to do, so I wanted to include it. For Wolf, which is the fifth prompt, you have to check up on a friend or a loved one. Just, you know, send somebody a text who you haven't talked to in a while. Be like, hey, how are you? Start a conversation, maybe talk to them or reach out, you know, anything like that. For the sixth and final non-book prompt, it is Jungle Wood, and to do that, you have to do something that you've been putting off. And this can be anything, this can be, you know, maybe homework, if you're putting off an assignment at work that you have to do, if you want to start exercising but you haven't started yet, anything like that. A small task counts, maybe if you have to wash a dish, or if you have to do your laundry, which could... It, w it won't overlap with the other one, but, you know, if you're doing laundry twice a month, you could count them for both. And that's all the prompts, uh, non-book and book prompts included. Uh, so I hope you guys really enjoy them. I hope it's super fun to make your guys' TBRs this year. I will probably put out a video of my own closer to May of my TBR if you guys want to stick around and see what I'm reading for the readathon. And I think that's everything for the Minecraft readathon this year. I'm super excited. I'm super happy to be hosting it again. I think for the fourth time. I think it's year three, but I think it's the fourth time. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you'll all participate, and I hope that it'll be a fun readathon this year.